What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today what we're going to be doing on the bench is making some Kydex holsters. Now, I have a, two truck guns that I've got that have Pelican cases all set up for them. They're in case of emergency uh, weapons that I keep with me. And what I wanted to do is figure out... I have my mags just kind of sitting in my Pelican. There's no case or anything for them. So I wanted to make something that I could, in the event that I need to use it, I just grab that thing, slap it onto my uh, my belt, um, grab my firearm, and go. I'm going to do one for the 9mm. So we're going to do two 31-round uh, stick mag. It looks like this should be pretty easy. We want to make sure that when we have them, when you're doing a holster like this, you want to make sure that it, the the magazine will be orientated in the way that when you go to pull it out, you can easily stick it in the magazine. So always check that orientation, whether you're right-handed, whether you're left-handed, it changes. So for me, I'm going to have this situated on my left-hand side so that I can operate in the event that I need to operate the gun with my right hand and then use my left hand to change the magazine. So that means that these are going to be left-hand seated and we're going to want the magazine to sit in the holster like this so that when we pull it out we have it orientated bullets downrange and we can go in there. Um, I, I see a lot of people that are missing this part. You know, they'll sit it this way. So when you go to pull it out, uh, your bullets may be backwards. So then you've got to take another motion and rotate it. So think about everything from if when you need to reload, what the movement is going to be and create that holster to make sure that that holster complements the most effective movement that you can make so that you're not wasting any time in the event that you need to use that. Okay, so we've cut, scored and cut our Kydex uh, basically in half. They were 12 inch sheets, so we cut them in six inches, so it's six by 12 for each of these. Uh, and we have our thicker Kydex on the bottom and then our thinner 0 0.62, 0 0.062 Kydex, which is gonna go on the top and the front of the holster. Now, uh, I'm thinking what I have to do is since we're going to be doing this in a two-piece form, we're going to form the fronts first. So we want to have enough of the magazine exposed so we can reach it, uh, but we also want to have enough so that it's not hindering a, our ability to move since it's going to be on our side. We want to make sure that we have um, a little bit of a lower profile. Now for this guy here, we can go a little bit deeper because they're they're longer magazines. And I think we're going to probably need a space about that. Big should work. So do that. We're making these extra large so we have room to trim and adjust as needed. Since this is the first time doing that, I'm gonna err on the side of caution this time. And next time when we do it, I'm gonna have a better idea as to what I need and what I don't. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna heat these guys up, and we'll get ready to put them in the press. All right, so we're gonna start off with our stick mags here. And we've got the Kydex heating up, so we're going to be ready to go as soon as they come. We're going to drop it down and hopefully we get this good. Okay. We're going to drop this in. Put it back. Put our mag here. Put our mag here. Put our top on. set this form and uh, we'll see how we do while we're waiting for this to cool um, some things that I've noticed about this particular press that I'm, I don't really like um, this the chain not a fan of it because it doesn't give you very uh, precise pressure points like you're kind of at 
the mercy of the links. So, uh, and the other thing I've noticed is that it's bolted, it's screwed actually into the table here. And because of that press, that pressure, it's actually starting to back out the screw. So I would suggest if you're using this press, it's a fantastic press, don't get me wrong, but I think with um, clamps is the best way to do this, just so you're getting even pressure. On something like this, you can see we don't have this quite on center because if we put our magazines on center here, we wouldn't be able to use this. So there's a little bit of a wobble. So we're going to get an uneven press on this just, you know, just by looking at this, it's expected. Um, so if you're going to go with this, and I highly suggest you do, just get the clamps to go with it. That way we could have gotten a much, much easier press and even press on this, which is key if we're going to use it for doing double mags. If you're doing one thing, you can kind of center it up pretty good and not have to worry about this being in your way. But for something like this, uh, we should be using clamps, so I'm afraid that this is not going to turn out as well as it should. First off, the form was just not coming out, and then our chain and screw ripped right out from our tabletop so this was useless i couldn't use this anymore i didn't have any clamps so i had to go get clamps so here we are the next day and uh this is kind of where we're at so what i did was because this mold is a little bit you know small it was kind of dumb to use these super long ones it's the same size the same model with magazine so we just went with something smaller all in all came out pretty good uh, like I said we went through the ringer with this one but we made it it'll work these will fit fine in there I did notice that the 0 0.06 does not form nearly as well as the 0.08 now maybe that's because it's thinner and it just it uh you know cools quicker so you have a much much less working time but overall um, I'm not a fan of the 0.06 I think we'll stick with the 0.08 so that was a learning opportunity here all right so we're gonna put our right on top like so we have our plate we're just gonna press this down I will say that this is much better with the clamps that chain is junk ditch the chain i love the press the press is amazing ditch the chain and use clamps so this looks pretty good we've got nice and flush on our side here so we can rivet these and then we can tension in the middle perfect all right so here we are got our front here we labeled it front we have our back what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as our mark just gonna fit our mags in here make sure that we get them seated in the right place the way that I do this it's pretty simple I just put it on the table and I score it and crack it bandsaw would definitely work uh, but this method is just it's so much easier and it saves a ton of time and It doesn't make a mess with shavings and all that stuff very easy to work through this stuff All we're gonna do is just like you can say score a line And crack and that's it, it takes no time super quick literally three minutes. So let's set this back up and as we can see here, we're gonna have good retention on our sides here. And then this middle part is where, hold this, is where we're gonna put our little tension screw so we can make this tighter or larger, depending what we want. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put our rivets. Now, our rivets are solely gonna be on the outside here. I'm gonna put one here, one on the complementary side, and then we'll also put one down here, and then one on the complementary side down here. So the rivets I use are just basic quarter inch 
rivets, nothing fancy, nothing special. So when you do it, you drill the hole a quarter inch and then you pop them in and then we form them with the rivet former. They do have presses too that you can use. This is $8 on eBay and it works just as fine. So we've got our rivets all in, no problem. They went in fine. And we can see here, even with the rivets, we've got good tension here. We just put a little tension point right here and that will handle that no problem. And we'll have easy access to the magazines. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold off on this middle part and we're just gonna trim away all of this until we get a nice form, kind of what we're looking for. To do this, we're just gonna grind away on the belt sander, that's it. And we're just gonna form this to shape. Nice, even, all the way around. We should be almost done. Right, so here we are. We got this guy all formed out, sanded over. Uh, you know, we used uh, some wet, dry sandpaper. Went from 500 to 1,000 to 1,500, or 1,200, excuse me, to just, you know, polish these edges so there's no sharp edges. And then we got the Dremel wheel with the polishing wheel here and on kind of a medium to low speed we just ran this around so it's nice and smooth there's no edges to get caught on we lucked out we able to put the belt clip right here right here in the middle this was again just something that happened uh, and the belt clip fits perfect in there it's a little tight but that's okay it, it'll it definitely works for sure and then we added our tension screw right here to adjust the tension of our magazines and you can see here it fits they don't fall out and they draw out pretty nice for all intents and purposes what we need this for this is again our when we need to grab the nine millimeter ar in the truck we already have a magazine ready for that and these are just the two spares we throw that on the belt clip and then we go so i was thinking i was going to camo this but i'm probably just going to leave it as it is again this is in the case of emergency holster this is not uh you know whatever i'm not going to be selling these anytime soon so i learned that the two-part is way harder than the taco everyone said the two part is easier i disagree 100 percent uh the forming is a little tough it's a little harder in my opinion but this worked out good i'm happy with this it does its job and i think that this will hold up well the rivets i could have done better on that's all right with practice they will get better uh and overall i'm happy with it it does what it's supposed to do and I made it myself as opposed to buying it. And that to me is worth the price of admission. So stay tuned because uh, we're gonna do one for the AR as well. We're not gonna add it onto this video because this video was long enough. So until next time, make sure that you're practicing safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded. God bless America, G2 out.